Hi, I'm Michael Kramer. I'm the editor of Lake Mary Life magazine, and we are here at the fourth annual career night at Lake Mary High School. A number of students are going to different sessions where they're going to be meeting with business leaders from all different facets of the business world. So please join me as we go to some of these sessions and talk to the leaders and the students themselves. We're here with two of the speakers for Career Night. I'll have them introduce themselves. I'm Roxanne Mann from Walk on Water. I'm Joe Kelly from the YMCA. Now I understand that you are old hands at this. This is not the first time around for either one of you. It's my second time. It's my second year as well. And what brings you to do this? What do you get out of it and what do you hope to um, relate to the students? Um, I've been asked to speak about what, how, what it takes to make be successful in business and it's, um, it's an honor to be asked to be here to give students an idea of what's going to face them when they leave here as well as um, the return from what you get from investing in, in the life of a child is immeasurable. Now, are you going to be talking more about entrepreneurship and that you'll have your own business? Joe, what's going to be your focus? Kind of like Roxanne. I mean, it's great to have an opportunity to impact some, some kids, share some secrets about business. Uh, I'm from the not-for-profit side. You know, uh, there, there are viable careers in the not-for-profit side. You get an opportunity to, to give them, mold them in your hands, so to speak, and, and turn them into, into individuals that, that uh, are going to grow up to be strong in character and have uh, good business ethics and, and um, you know, uh, grow up to be outstanding citizens. Right? Well, I you know only get one chance in life. You have to do this very quickly, yeah. and I appreciate you taking time, and you're going to your first session. Lots of luck, and maybe we'll see you there. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We're here with two physicians at the career night, and I'll have them introduce themselves to you. I'm Tanya Agard. I'm Christy McGee. Awesome. Tanya, who are you affiliated with? I have my own uh, group of uh, hospitalists, and uh, we're internal medicine doctors that uh, do work only in the hospital. And Christy? Uh, my husband and I have a family practice here in Lake Mary. Christy, I understand that you are, uh, th that Lake Mary High is your alma mater. That's correct, and it's fun to be back tonight, hopefully, uh, to talk about what we do now and how Lake Mary High School enabled me to get here. Now, did the two of you do the session last year? Or were you in separate rooms last year? I did it with her husband last year. <gasps> okay. And so it was a Huntley Brinkley kind of thing that you're doing? Do you go back and forth or you each have your own little, little part of the uh, 20 minutes? We had our own little part of the 20 minutes. And um, then afterwards when we had questions, it was back and forth. What was the most interesting question that you got last year, if you recall? I'm trying to think. I think the uh, most interesting question was on um, salary. They get the money, <laughs> don't they? It comes down to salary and then how much time and how long it takes was the biggest thing. How much of my life am I going to have to give away? <laughs> and then you tell them that and do you discourage people? No, it's worth it. Okay. And I would agree. Absolutely. But there was a vet here two years ago when I was here and he brought his dog, so I lost out. No he one was interested. You. Exactly. No one was interested in me. <laughs> well, well, I'm here with three representatives of Lake Mary's Finest, two from the police department and one from the fire department. I'm going to ask you to uh, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Bob Hitchcock, Battalion Chief, Seminole County Fire Rescue. Marie Crawford with the Lake Mary Police Department. Right, Tony said it'll Lake Mary Police Department. Now, Marie and Bob, I understand this is the first time that you've done career night? Yes. yes. How was this first session? Oh, it's wonderful. The, the, the students were very attentive to what we had to say, had a lot of good questions to ask us. Marie? Absolutely. They had a lot of great questions. Um, Anything out of the ordinary? Um, no, I wouldn't say anything. Salary? Yeah, what, 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 oh, yeah. 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 They definitely right. asked about the salary and... Uh, our jobs are definitely not in it for that. So, <laughs> Anthony, this is the second time around for you. Yes, sir. So you're an old hand at this. So what what brings you back? Why is there a certain satisfaction you get out of the students? The satisfaction of them actually coming and trying to talk to law enforcement, finding out what our job activities are um, with the fire department, how we work hand in hand together. The questions that they ask are really good because this is going to benefit them if they choose to come into law enforcement or firefighting. I'm here with Dr. Paul Toma and Shelly Rodriguez, who have been giving a session on chiropractic and uh, massage therapy. Shelly, I'll start with you. Is this the first time that you've done career night? No, this is the second time. I did it last year. And what do you get out of this? Well, you know, it's a fun way to show them what massage therapy really is and what it isn't. 
and that it is a valid profession, and also to give them demos on what they can expect with massage therapy and just explain that it's a viable career and that there's opportunities in it. It's emerging because of people mm -hmm. wanting to take care of their bodies. And I do see, did you have anybody come up and do a demonstration? I did, I did. And that must have been one of the highlights. It's for very time. easy to get a volunteer. <laughs> I already have one for the next session, yes. And Dr. Toma, yourself, uh, is this the first time around for you? This is certainly my first time. And what do you think so far? I like it. It's a good opportunity to talk to um, kids going into college soon and trying to seek out what they want to do. We're here with Boyd Carnes, principal of Lake Mary High School, and we have a few questions for him. Boyd, if you will, why don't you tell us a little bit about how Career Night got started and uh, its history? Well, this is really it's our fourth annual Career Night, and it's a function of our school advisory council. Uh, and it was really something that developed out of the, the Chambers uh, school work program where we had various speakers come in, speak to our 10th graders about career opportunities. And uh, from there, it just kind of evolved into this thing where, well, let's go ahead and access our business community, uh, have them come in and sit down with our students and kind of talk to them about careers and what they would expect out of a career and what it would take, uh, what they would have to personally invest to be part of a career. It's very interesting in a high school environment that you'll have students that will say, you know, that I want to be this and I want to be that, but they really don't understand everything that it takes to be that. One of the speakers had mentioned that once you start talking about money and hours and commitment, yeah, suddenly there is that change of heart perhaps. You know, when people realize that uh, you, you know, an attorney makes, can, can make a very good living at 60 or 70 hours a week, you mm -hmm. know, then it's suddenly, you know, <laughs> it's suddenly different. Or, you know, the, you can become a doctor, but all the preparation that goes into it, or, you know, the, re, uh, running your own business, the, all the liability that is associated with, with having your own business, whether it's a, a sandwich shop or whether it's a department store. You know, sometimes as educators, we talk to students so much, it's almost like the, um, the Charlie Brown character, you know, the wah, 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 you know. But now we bring in the business community who just truly reinforces everything that we're telling our students. It helps us better define the kind of curriculum that we need to have uh, to, to better prepare our students to be what they want to be. Right, this year as opposed to last year, how much has it grown? It's huge. I, I think our first year, honestly, we had 25 or 30 presenters. Then it went to 40 presenters. 50, last year is 50 or 60. Well, this year this is 90-some 90, 90 presenters. And um, it is just huge because the interest from our business community, they, I mean, they're, they're giving up their valuable time, their family time, their professional time, preparing for this, you know, to come on out here. Uh, you cannot measure you honestly can't measure the impact this has on, on our students. It's, it's huge. Well, Boyd, thank you so much for your input, and uh, we know that this is going to be a very successful career night. Well, thank you very much, and thanks to Lake Mary Life for doing such a good job of covering everything that goes on in this community, and I, I mean that sincerely. You all do a wonderful job. Thank you very much.